Hi everyone, my name is David and welcome to another Maple Leaf Money video. In this video, we are going to be discussing the news around how Canadian Pacific Railway has won the takeover battle for Kansas City Southern over Canadian National Railway's existing deal. We will also look at how this news has affected the stock price for both Canadian Pacific and Canadian National Railway and what it might mean for the future. We will be reviewing an article published by Yahoo Finance to break down some of the news. To start off with, if you haven't heard, Canadian National Railway, ticker CNR, had a merger agreement with U.S. railway company Kansas City Southern. However, as of today, Kansas City Southern has announced it has terminated the merger agreement, opting to merge with Canadian Pacific Railway instead. Now, this is not something that can be done without a penalty, as they did have a merger agreement in place. Therefore, Kansas City Southern will have to pay Canadian National Railway 1.4 billion U.S. dollars in termination fees as a result of a failed agreement. However, Canadian Pacific Railway has agreed to cover the costs as part of their new merger agreement. Although losing the deal is bad news for Canadian National Railway, the stock price was actually up 1.41% today, likely due to the fact that they will be receiving a large chunk of money from termination fees. However, there is bad news for Canadian National Railway's board of directors and senior leadership, as one of its biggest shareholders, which is a UK-based hedge fund, is calling for the CEO and several board members to be replaced because of this decision. They said in a statement, and I quote, the bid for Kansas City Southern exposed the basic misunderstanding of the railroad industry and regulatory environment. Now, they said this because Canadian National Railway was rejected by the U.S. Surface Transportation Board, which meant they could not hold and operate Kansas City Southern while waiting for additional regulatory approvals. This was a big blow to the merger agreement, which ultimately led Kansas City Southern to start looking at other options. Meanwhile, you have Canadian Pacific Railway, which did receive approval from the U.S. Surface Transportation Board, and they have agreed to acquire Kansas City Southern in a transaction that is valued at $31 billion U.S. dollars. Shareholders do still have to approve this transaction, which will likely happen. It also states that if this deal is approved, it would result in the first railway in North America that would connect all Canada, the U.S., and Mexico. Looking at Canadian Pacific Railway stock price, ticker CP, we did not see much action today as it was up only 0.34% on the day. This is because the deal still needs to be approved by shareholders, and even then this is a more long-term growth play. Canadian National Railway has always been a popular Canadian stock, but with this recent news, it may make Canadian Pacific Railway a great alternative with more potential for future growth. Let me know in the comments below if this news changes your opinion at all for either company, and or if it makes you reconsider which company you want to invest into. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like it, feel free to subscribe as I do post content regularly related to finance and the stock market industry.